Any last words, guys? Careful. Last Careful. words? Today's my last full day in Tokyo. How do I feel? I actually like Tokyo a lot, but I like my girlfriend a lot more, so... Between my run yesterday and like walking around Tokyo with my family, my calves are on fire. Like, they've never been this sore, so I think I'm gonna do like a chest workout. workout was good, lighting was terrible, so I didn't film any of it, but here's what I'm having for breakfast. Really good ripe melon, steamed potatoes, oranges, cereal with soy milk. Today's our last day in Tokyo. I think I'm pretty ready to leave. Excited to go back to LA, record some podcasts, be with Izzy. On the docket today, we don't really have much planned. My little brother wanted to hit up like a roller coaster amusement park, so maybe we'll do that. So we are gonna go to the amusement park later, but we're doing lunch first because my family hasn't even eaten breakfast. I found a ramen place that has vegan options. Crazy ass brothers want to do this roller coaster. I would get a stomach ache and a headache. I am not doing it. I'll just film. Hey guys, the motto of this show is Dream Extreme. So we partnered up with the Tokyo Dome for an exclusive experience. They opened it just for us today. I don't know what all these other people are That's doing. That's not here. true. Uh, but I agree. Doing crazy stuff like this is awesome. Taking adventures. I just don't do well with like roller coasters. Like I'll probably barf. For the moment, change of plans. I decided I'm gonna do the roller coaster. Whatever. <laughs> All right, we survived the experience. He got the whole thing on GoPro. Maybe I'll get it uh, on Facebook or something. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the burn, Bernie Sanders, 2016. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that was awesome. I don't even feel sick. There's an amusement park bathroom. Look at how clean it is. Look at this toilet. If this was in America, it'd be disgusting. It's been like 30 minutes since the roller coaster. I'm feeling pretty good, but my head just feels a little bit off. We're headed now to a store that like sells kind of specialty fruit. I heard here in Japan, sometimes they have like melons that cost like a hundred dollars. So we're gonna go check that out. <laughs> these cost $300, these melons, no joke. Here's my little fruit haul from that crazy place. So fruit is like 
a delicacy in a lot of ways in Japan. It's also a gift to give to people because they have, like unlike in the US, they have this sliding scale of the price of fruits. We literally saw a melon in there that cost $300, it was insane. So I obviously didn't buy any fruit that expensive, but I pretty much bought some things that would be like half the price in the US. So I think this uh, little canister of strawberries costs like $10. Um, and these two together is 680 yen, which is like maybe $6. So they're a little more expensive. Let's see if they're any good. They look very ripe. I'm gonna wash these. All right. It's a damn good strawberry. It's a very good strawberry. I don't know what more else to say. I've had strawberries as good as this, probably even better in the US, but I'd say they're better than the average strawberry. Okay, Asian pear. This is an interesting way to eat a pear. Again, it's the same. Very sweet, very flavorful, pretty good, but like not overwhelmingly good. Final dinner of the trip, we're going to a restaurant called Nobu, which they also have some locations in Los Angeles. Dairy-free sorbets, cherry, pear, lime, apple. Maybe I'll use this very bizarre dramatic lighting I have right here outside of the restaurant just to say Happy New Year. This is the last final vlog of 2015, pretty incredible. I started my vlog in June of this year, so going into 2016, that may be the first full year that I do daily vlogs. If I keep it up, that'd be incredible it'd be super awesome i just want to express my gratitude to all of you who have made this year unbelievable for me it's the first full year of plant Triotic in terms of the youtube channel all my social media the podcast my first full year of putting out content and it's been insane i could have never imagined i'd be where i am now at the start of 2015. Now I have so much room to grow. My dad asked me today, where do you think you're gonna get to in subscribers on your YouTube channel by the end of 2016? I told him 75,000. Let's see, I don't know, I think it could happen, I think it'd be awesome, but it's with the support of all of you who spread the word, who tell your friends, your family members, your coworkers, your teachers about what I'm doing to support me. It's all about you guys, so I thank you. I have so much gratitude. Happy New Year. We're gonna go to bed. It's our last day in Tokyo, and we're headed to LA tomorrow. You guys are all around the world. Some of you are celebrating New Year's alongside the Fosters. Some of you are gonna do it tomorrow, and I wish you the best. But no matter where you are, bottom of where the bottom line is, <laughs> dream extreme. Goodbye, night of Tokyo.